Hi, this is Andrew with PRA7 Reviews. Today we're talking about the Bloom Sky weather system. Um, this thing is awesome. Um, I actually have a Bloom Sky 1 and Blue Bloom Sky 2. I'll discuss the differences in just a moment. Um, prior to the Bloom Skies, I went through a few um, uh, Oregon Scientific uh, weather stations. Um, very different. Um, those are much more complex. They don't hold up well uh, and a lot more expensive. Um, here's an example. Here's one of the uh, weather sensors or one of the wind gauges. Um, they did come with solar panels. Uh, I've got another one over here. That's the temperature got another one over here that's wind speed and wind direction um, then I also had a UV sensor they don't last the UV sensor never even worked um, you still have to change the batteries constantly on those so I went with the bloom sky I saw it on Kickstarter um, this thing's awesome uh, this is my first one I've had it for probably about a year or so. A uh, couple cool things. It's an all-in-one system. Comes with this really nice solar panel. I haven't had to worry about a thing as far as changing batteries or doing anything like that. It comes with a mounting bracket. Um, so you can mount it uh, to the wall. Um, pretty much anywhere. Uh, but it also comes with this spike. Uh, it actually has this at the end. So you can actually put it in the ground if you need to. Um, so what this gives you though is uh, temperature, UV, rain, um, as far as whether it's raining or not. It does not measure the amount of rain. Um, what else? Uh, barometric pressure, and that's pretty much it. Um, one of the coolest features about these though is this camera on top and so it'll take a picture a time-lapse shot of the sky uh, or wherever you point it this is you can position this which is kinda cool um, it'll take a picture I think like every hour or 15 minutes or something like that and at the end of the day it'll send you a message with that time-lapse um, and if you go to bloomsky.com to their website you can actually look at a map of the world and see the time lapses from all over the world. It's really a cool system. Um, so a problem with the sensors, so these are little copper sensors and I guess when rain runs down it or water runs down it, it, it knows that it's raining. The problem is you can see it's kind of corroding and it's kind of worn out. Um, if you look at the outside it's getting some uh, mold here this is where the solar panel connects the solar panels held up pretty solid um, still puts out a good charge and that's something else that you can monitor from the website and from the phone is how much power it has um, the push buttons there's two buttons on the device there's a power button and then a Wi-Fi button connecting it is really easy uh, essentially when you receive them you got to make sure it's within a close range of your Wi-Fi but you'll turn on the power and then this little antenna will start blinking red uh, then you'll go through your phone app and follow the instructions and it gets you on there um, I also have mine linked to Weather Underground which is something I had done previously with my uh, Oregon Scientific units but I had to have a PC or a laptop linked between the Oregon Scientific Unit and um, the internet so it could broadcast. With these, these broadcast directly, um, straight from the Bloom Sky website. Uh, they provide instructions on how to link it to your Weather Underground or a few other sites. So again, this is really cool. Um, big difference with the Bloom Sky too. Um, obviously it's cleaner um, 
they got rid of the UV sensor and the other sensor on top um, because there's actually going to be a, a second unit called a storm uh, which will provide rain measurement, um, wind speed, and wind direction, and then UV. Um, so it's going to give a few more capabilities that the Bloom Sky 1 did not provide. Um, again, you can tell this one's brand new, it's got everything. The buttons are much nicer, um, so it's a lot easier. You can, I don't know if you can see that that's green or not, uh, but. I have them both communicating right now just kind of to see what the difference is. Solar panels look the same. Um, they're pretty normal. There's kind of a under view of them. Here's a view of the bloom sky. Again, it, it's just like a little orb. It's, it's really cool. Um, very portable, very easy for someone to, uh, to set up. Um, and again, getting the time lapse at the end of the day is really cool, uh, especially when you have like a storm blowing in or something like that. Uh, so I definitely recommend checking out bloomsky.com. Um, look at their maps, check out uh, the current bloom skies that are, that are deployed out in the world. Um, but I would highly recommend this device for anyone that loves to monitor the weather um, or even if you just want the whole time-lapse feature I think that's pretty cool uh, say you have a property that's remote or something like that as long as you have Wi-Fi or some sort of wireless connection uh, you can set that up uh, the Bloom Sky 2 also has uh, Bluetooth and so that uh, that helps out as well too but anyways um, feel free to answer uh, at, I guess ask any questions that you have um, and I'll try and respond as quickly as I can. This would make a great present for anyone that uh, definitely is a weather buff or just likes to kind of know what's going on in the in the world around there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and have a great holiday. Thanks.